All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go from the Gateway Roval. Indy Kirchenbauer and Kirk Marble will be on the front row. Patrick Pieper, Connor Kurtzill on the second. Jeremy Edwards and Eric Walk. Eric W. on the third row. Tyler Aunt Richard Cranking on the fourth row. And Pudge with Kenny Storkson. Round out your top ten. Jade Brulliet starts in 11th next to Corey Bowdenon in 12th. Aaron Brill in 13th. Trenton Terrorhurst in 14th. Brian Hewitt starts 15th. Ryan McDaniel in 16th. Jacob Morgan in 17th. Nicholas Johnson 18th. Russell Worth in 19th. Steven Johnson starts 20th. Also, just an interesting note, Al Pudge and Steven Johnson do not take to the grid. That was unexpected. Pudge is in his pit stall, so he'll come out once the green flag drops. Does look like he is having some significant connection issues. All the drivers working their way through the infield section of the Roval. As always, let us know who you cheering for here tonight in the comments as we get ready to go racing. The poor space car will pull off Coming out of turn four, and Indy Kirchenmeyer will not will fire off first. There goes the Porsche pace car. That is also the correct entry to pit road for this race. Here we go down the front straightaway. Green flag is in the air there, down and away at the Gateway Roval. Into turn one on the Roval, a lot of the drivers very happy that this is a much better entry into the Roval than what we saw at the Rock last week. Already some three wide mid pack. Oh, we've got one car already going a little bit wide. Quickly gathers it back up. Top five already opening up a bit of a gap. Richard Cragen back in six. Jade in seven. Couple of drivers on the move. Oh! Brian Hewitt has a little problem getting back out onto the oval. Jacob Morgan now looks underneath Hewitt for 10th. He'll be up seven spots. Hewitt up six spots. Sorry, that was Storkson battling with Jacob. And Nicholas Johnson, who did not get a qualifying lap is already up in the tenth of eight spots. Also on the move, Corey B up five spots now into seventh. Andy Kirchenmeyer trying to put some breathing room between him and Kirk Marble. Connor Kurtzill in third, Peeper in fourth, Eric W now up into fifth.
Russell Wirth also on the move. Great to see Russell back on track and currently running in six, but he gets a bump from Jeremy Edwards. Indy sets the fastest lap so far. Tyler Ott has lost a lot of ground here. Pudge is out on track, but a lot of connection problems. Let's see what happened to Tyler a moment ago. There they were off the start. Tyler in the A car. Brian Hewitt, a little bit of contact. All it goes around. Russell Worth also had an incident a moment ago. Trying to close back up on Edwards and Storkson. Back in just steps around on him. Looks like Ryan McDaniel had the same issue. Andy, whoa! -ho -ho. Andy Kirchhammer hitting the curbs hard here. But definitely getting the job done so far. He's got a 1.3 second lead. Trenton Terrorist has towed the pit road. He and Brian Hewitt have both had incidents. Let's take a look. There's Trenton going off onto the Roval. Oh, there was a stack up ahead. He had nowhere to go. And a hard hit, losing body panels. Look like this incident started with Hewitt as he comes off of the uh, oval into the infield. Just Luke gets loose. Everybody behind has to avoid him. Hey, good evening, Clay. Yep, I I had heard that earlier. Jeremy Locklear cheering on Jacob Morgan. Jacob was on the move early, has lost a couple of spots, and has some damage on the right front. Still up five spots in the 12th. Aaron Brill, though, right on the bumper. Indy continuing to hold that lead. Kirk Marble in second. Kirk, a very accomplished road racer. You can see him here on Sunday mornings with GT3 NSS. 11 a.m. Eastern on Sunday. I expect he will be able to fight his way closer to Indy. But will he be able to get past? Richard Kragen has had a problem back behind. There's Richard in the six coming through the infield. Gets the. Gets through that little S section, but then goes for a spin and loses several positions.
Now the time is set to eight times the normal speed. So it's already 4.30 a.m. Track and air temperature still holding about the same for now. But once the sun starts peeking up, it's going to change and it could change dramatically. We will also see the same thing in the second race on the oval. Nicholas Johnson, the driver that did not get to qualify, is up 13 spots into fifth place. That is one heck of a run. And there's been an incident back behind with Jacob Morgan and Aaron Brill. There's Jacob in the 24. Aaron right behind him. Jacob a run on Storkson. Oh, and he just, the back end just steps out. Aaron has nowhere to go. Hutch managing to slip by. There's Aaron back behind. Trying to hold off the eight for the moment. You see those brakes already glowing red. drifting out of Nicholas Johnson to the infield. Hey, good evening, Tina. Doing good. How are you doing, ma'am? Indy still has the lead, but Kirk Marble has closed the gap. Connor Kurtzill back in third, Peeper in fourth. Nicholas Johnson in fifth. When he got into fifth, he was about 10 seconds behind Patrick Pieper. He is now 7.8 seconds back. They still have a competition caution coming. Ought to make things very, very interesting. That top four, uh, probably a little bit worried. And right behind, Nicholas Johnson, Corey B, hanging right with him in six. He's also up six spots. Trenton Terror, or Trenton Terrors is back out on track. He was fast in practice, but lost a ton of ground having to go to pit road. Ryan McDaniel, we saw him go off track earlier, currently in 19th, but closing the gap on Russell Worth. Steven Johnson currently in 17th, Brian Hewitt losing a lot of ground, now back in 16th. Jacob Morgan has also lost a couple more spots back to 15th. Connor Kurtzill is coming to pit road. That's uh, unexpected. That They've still got about five laps before the comp caution as the leaders are in lap traffic. Patrick Pieper has come by Kirk Marble to take second. Kirk now back to third. Nicholas Johnson just six and a half seconds back with Corey right on his bumper. The lap car of Russell Worth letting Indy get by easily. Patrick Pieper. Uh, I think
think a lot of these drivers are headed to pit road. Indy is in. Patrick is in. Kirk Marble is in. Nicholas Johnson is in. Corey B stays out. The top five, or the four of the top five on pit road. Jeremy Edwards gives up sixth. Eric coming in in seventh. Bob Ross directing traffic for Eric here tonight. Jaden right behind him. Richard Cragen also in. Looks like some of these drivers are playing the strategy move, getting that pit stop out of the way before the competition caution. Oh, Ryan McDaniel moving over, coming out onto the banking to let the leaders get by. And no, here comes Corey B to pit road. Kenny Storkson now in second. Jacob Morgan up to third. If Kenny Storkson can stay out here, he may very well take the lead. And Kenny is staying out. Jacob Morgan is headed to Pitt Road. Steven Johnson, who's been staying out, is now up into fourth. But Indy Kirchenbauer is right on his bumper trying to put him a lap down. And Kenny Storkson has the lead. Indy Kirchenbauer in second now as several more on pit road. Indy having to battle with that lap car Finally clears. Kenny Storkson has a problem. He just lost a ton of ground after making up quite a bit by staying out. He is slow. Could he be out of fuel? And Storkson is out of gas. He tried to stretch it too far and had to tow it to Pitt Road. Indy Kirchenbauer now has a lead. Patrick Pieper in second. Kirk Marble in third. Nicholas Johnson up to fourth. He is closing the gap on Marble. Andy Kirchema has a two and a quarter second lead over Peeper at the moment. Richard Cragen, who had issues earlier on, has fought his way back to eighth. Also on his way back forward, Jacob Morgan and Aaron Brill as the comp caution comes out. And it looks like Eric had a problem coming to the yellow. Coming through that infield section. Drifts it through the turn. Whoa, snaps it around. Quickly recovers, but Bob Ross may have gotten a little sick to his stomach on that.
Indy Carson Barrett still has the lead, has led just about every lap here tonight. Storks and on pit road getting gas. Steven Johnson on his way out. Connor Kurzil came in as well. I suspect a few. No, here we go. Patrick Peeper is coming in. Andy Kirchenbauer stays out. Corey B stays out. But a lot of drivers coming in to top off on fuel. Nicholas Johnson, Kirk Marvel, Jeremy Edwards, all on pit road. And Eric has brought Bob Ross into third. Let's see, is this going to be fuel or fuel and tires? I'm not seeing it. Jeremy Edwards is the first car getting tires. Everybody else, a fuel only stop. As you can see, the sun has come up at Gateway. Track temperature still holding for the moment. I suspect once the cars get back up to speed, that is going to change dramatically. Ryan McDaniel gets a wave around. And it looks like Russell Worth will also get a wave around on this. They will be doing some testing this week to try and figure out a way to make the competition caution and wave arounds a little more efficient. While we got a minute, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and the YouTubes. I have spent all afternoon working on YouTube shorts. We'll obviously have quite a few from tonight's race. You can get a lot of entertainment on our YouTube channel. I will likely be working on shorts all afternoon tomorrow as well. Lights are out on the pace car. There you get a look at the track from the turn one of the oval. This Roval is 1.6 miles long with eight turns. <laughs> Jason, <laughs> the youngest member of C12 Motorsports, is definitely putting on a clinic for all these drivers. Andy Kirchenbauer, Corey B, Eric, Richard Craig, and Kirk Marble, your top five. Looks like they're going to go one more lap. The lights have come back on. Kirk Marble in fifth was the first of the cars to pit. Pudge did not Pudge did not pit under the caution and picked himself up some spots. Jacob Morgan on the same strategy. Jacob in six, Pudge in seven.
Lights are back out on the pace car. Looks like we will go green this time. Indy Kirchenberg will have control of the restart. Don't forget, right after this race, they will clean off the oval and do battle on the oval here at Gateway. The Porsche pace car getting ready to go to pit road. He is in, Indy Kirchenbauer in control. Here they come down the front straightaway. Green flag back in the air. And full sand toward the infield once again. Oh, already three wide mid pack. Patrick Pieper, Jeremy Edwards, Tyler Ott. All doing some, oh look at Peeper. Peeper's making some big moves, battling with JB. Russell Worth has had a problem. Jacob Morgan now up into sixth. Corey B currently in second. Trying to stay with Indy the Kid. Ryan McDaniel has also had a problem. Let's take a quick look at some of the issues in the last lap. Russell Worth first. Three wide. He drops back just a little bit. And, oh, when he gets going, wow, Kenny Storkson doesn't get much closer than that. And we see Ryan McDaniel back there mid-pack. Tries to cross over to get the inside line, but gets loose. Close calls behind Storkson barely avoids that one. And look like Trenton also lost some ground. Indy and Corey still the front two have a little gap on third place, Kirk Marble. Jacob Morgan is now in fourth. Richard Cragen, we saw the problems he had early on. He is in fifth. Patrick Pieper, Jeremy Edwards, Jay Bouliet, Nicholas Johnson, and Steven Johnson. Now your top ten. Nicholas up nine spots. Steven up ten. Kirk Marble closing back in on the top two. Jacob Morgan can't, oh! Peeper has a problem. Loses some ground from Jacob Morgan on back that renounced the tail through the infield. Jacob holds on to fourth for the minute, for the moment. Indy still out front. But Jacob has Richard Craig and Jeremy Edwards and Patrick Pieper closing in. Pieper, though, Nicholas Johnson now up into eighth. Oh, Jeremy Edwards goes, by, goes wide. Pieper slips by. 
And Nicholas Johnson takes advantage. Huge run for him. Nicholas now up 11 spots into seventh. Jeremy Edwards back underneath. What a battle for seventh place. Oh, Edwards has some contact. Johnson goes wide. Jeremy takes seventh place. Nicholas drops back to ninth. Indy starting to put some breathing room between him and now Kirk Marble in second. Corey B currently holds third. Jacob Morgan still has fourth. Craig in fifth. He went wide. Peeper looks to the inside. Peeper's got a ton of speed coming through this infield. And it's all ready to Jacob Morgan's back bumper. Whoa, a little drift. Sets up to the inside. This is where he lost it a few moments ago. He stays out of trouble. Indy has over a one and a half second lead. Kirk Marble in second. Corey now to third. Jacob Morgan now has Peeper to the inside. Whoa, it gets a little close. Might have been some contact. Peeper finally clears and takes fourth. Jeremy Edwards starts to attack. Indy Kirchenbauer likely to see the white flag this time. Might even get the checkers this time. And another strong performance for the youngest member of C12 Motorsports. Jacob Morgan has had a problem back behind and lost a lot of ground, but out of the final turn, Indy Kirchenbauer does it again. He wins at the Gateway Roval. Kirk Marble comes home in second, Corey B in third, Patrick Peeper in fourth, and let's see what happened to Jacob on the last lap. Jacob trying to close back up on Peeper. That same turn bit so many drivers tonight, Jacob lost a ton of positions and his front end. All right, let's see if we can get a word with our top three. Corey, congratulations, you're on the podium, and uh, it was definitely a wild night, but you made it to the front. Yeah, I choked it a little bit coming on through the oval a little, about a couple laps ago there, trying to get by Indy, but good race between me and Kirk. I was going to at least put a little fender to him, and we did, and they're about two corners from the oval, and had a good run to the end, but. Would it like the win? Maybe not. Maybe I'd rather have the chance at the wheel spin later on. <laughs> well, man, a great job tonight. You're definitely putting on a show since joining the crew. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, man. Corey, another great finish. Kirk Marble coming home in second. 
Kirk, it looked tonight like uh, you might have been the only one with the pace to beat the kid. It just wasn't to be. Hey, Kirk, you got me? Okay, we're going to try and get a word with Kirk before the oval race. And let's see if we can get a word with our winner, Indy the Kid. Indy, another win, another race, another win. Uh, you definitely are getting it done. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I have to say, it looks like you're extremely good at these street stocks on a road course. Do you do a lot of street stock racing? Nope, haven't done a street stock race in uh, a year and a half. <laughs> well, that makes the rest of us feel terrible, but man, a great job. Another awesome win. Congratulations, Indy. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the young man is <laughs> just that fast thank you oh uh don't go anywhere man my brain stopped for a second my apologies don't go anywhere folks they're gonna clean off the oval we're going racing on the oval here in just a few moments stick around everybody Folks, we are back, and man, what a roval race that was. And Jeremy, Jeremy Locklear, I will just say my driver too. 
I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> And, and if you have to go talk to his boss, tell him to call me and I'll help give, I'll help give Jacob a lecture. Drivers are out on track for practice. I do have a limited practice, but most of these drivers have been on this oval. But if they haven't, they have driven an oval. So <laughs> makes it substantially easier coming to a track like this. However, this track is very much like a flatter version of Darlington. It is a bit egg-shaped, like my head. So you see turns uh, 1 and 2 a little bit tighter than turns 3 and 4. Kurt, that was a fun race, buddy. Great, great job. We could see a dramatic difference going into the second race. One thing that is not is a little bit different. Patrick Pieper leads the points, followed by Connor Kurtzell, the team Kurtz, and Mayor Cody Kennedy and Richard Kragen. But Connor Kurtzell and Patrick Pieper both in the top three in points, both road and oval. But look who tops the leaderboard right now. Hudjanowski uh, back on top and <laughs> Ryan McDaniel just gave him a little congratulatory boot. If you missed out on the previous races this season, don't worry. You can find them. Everybody's giving uh, Pudge a little love tonight. If you missed out on any of our previous races of this season or past Nowski seasons, you can find them all on our YouTube channel. Tyler Ott just set the fastest lap, knocking Fudge off the top. Andy Kirchenmeyer now rolling out for practice. The newcomer, Eric, driving around with Bob Ross on the hood, giving him a hand. And there is a driver hiding there at the porta potty. I think I know. I thought I knew who was hiding at the porta potty. Let's see if we can figure this one out. That is Corey B. <laughs> Looks like he had to stop off at the porta potty. It was a long roval race. Hopefully a line doesn't form. That could be problematic.
Jacob Morgan currently second fastest picking up some speed. Pudge drops back to, back to fourth. Nicholas Johnson, man, he had a ton of speed in the Roval race. Managed to come up through the field quite dramatically. All the drivers out getting some practice in here. A shorter practice, as we mentioned. And of course, the Wonder Bread car out on track as well. Fortunately, no Fig Newton sponsorship in the window. Nicholas Johnson, one of the newer members of the C12 Motorsports family. I suspect we will see him up battling for wins, especially in that Roval series before the season is out. It's gonna try one more time to get an interview with Kirk Marble. Hey, Kirk, it's Doug. You got me? Well, I don't see Kirk at the porta potty. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to get a word with him before the night is out. Is some craziness happening out on track now. In addition to the Roval, you can see it from some camera angles. Gateway has a go-kart track in the infield as well. Hopefully someday iRacing will have go-karts and we can go to some tracks like that. Kirk Marble now out on track. It's like 20 cars will grid this time with one change. Chad Johnson is out on track. He was not in the Roval race. And it looks like uh, Trenton Terrors has changed to the old Jeff Gordon Rainbow Warrior paint scheme. By default, that should put him in victory lane. Richard Kragan now out on track. Brian Hewitt now out on track. Some of these guys are only going to get one to two laps of practice here before they qualify. They do have a warm-up after qualifying. And as you can see, the day-to-night transition continues. 
the oval is a bit warmer than the road course was. Air temperature is a hair cooler, but the, the oval is a hair warmer, and you can expect that the oval temperature will go up, making it a little bit greasier out there. But as they go tonight, the cooler night temperatures may offset some of the heat these cars put in the track. And Clay Kirchenbauer will take the uh, Kirk Team Kirchenbauer car for the oval race. As the drivers roll out for qualifying, Patrick Pieper heads out. Jeremy Edwards out on track. Ryan McDaniel rolling out as well. Looks like a few drivers change paint schemes between races. Connor Kurdzil heads out. Eric rolls out with Bob Ross's help. Kenny Storkson out on track. Tyler Ott rolls out on his qualifying run. Pudzianowski is on track now as well. Russell Worth out on track. Corey B out on his qualifying run, as is Brian Hewitt. The team Kirchhammer car gets a little bit of the wall out of two. This time, Clay is in the car. Jacob Morgan out on his qualifying run. Chad Johnson. Nicholas Johnson has the fastest lap. Then Pudge just beat it. Aaron Brill out on qualifying as well as Trenton Terrors. Jeremy Edwards is out. Kirk Marble is on track. Steven Johnson getting ready to roll out for his run. And now Jeremy Edwards tops the leaderboard. One thing is for sure. The lap times are extremely close, and the battles will be even closer. Hey, good evening, Richie. Wish you were here, buddy. Steven Johnson now out on his qualifying run. Ryan McDaniel wrapping his qualifying run up. Trenton out completing his qualifying run, as is Brian Hewitt. Jeremy Edwards still at the top of the board. Connor Kurdzil currently in eighth. Aaron Brill in ninth. Brill is running to the bathroom. Steven Johnson wrapping up his qualifying run. If you got a favorite driver in the field, don't forget to drop in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering for. 
Several of these drivers listen in and love to know their fans are cheering them on. Don't forget to hit that like, follow, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, hit that share button and invite your friends and family. Richie, I'm sure you'll be back very, very soon, buddy. And Jade is cheering on himself. Go, Jade, go. <laughs> Somebody might want to let Aaron Brill know warm-up is uh, about to start. All right, warm-up is underway. The driver's last few minutes to find a little bit more speed. Richie Joplin picks Jeremy Edwards for the win. See if we can get a word with Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Jeremy, it's Doug in the booth. You got me? Well, uh, looks like Jeremy Edwards may be occupying the backstretch porta potty. I don't see his car there, but I did see somebody run across the track a few minutes ago. Great to see Russell Worth back out on track tonight. And I got to say, loving the Flintstones paint scheme. And a few throwback paint schemes in the field. They just look awesome. Of course, you got Jacob Morgan's throwback baby roof paint. Trenton Terrorist in the old uh, Rainbow Warriors car. Richard Craggan in the old Miller Light car. <laughs> Good call. Let's see if we can get a word with Kirk Marble. Hey, Kirk, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Kirk, it's Doug in the booth. You got me? Hey, what's up, Doug? <laughs> well, I see uh, my interrupting. You put you in the wall. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the uh, finish in the Roval. That was a great race. Yeah, it was It was a real fun race. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a good battle with Corey at the end. It definitely was, and I had to say, there was a lot of back and forth. You really had your hands full throughout that race. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of counters here going on with that car. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was cool how you could, you know, let it hang out sideways, and then it wouldn't totally spin out on you. Uh, you definitely were the one, one of the ones holding it on track the best, and uh, a great finish. And how are you feeling about going to the Oval? Um, I'm not sure. I've only done practice by myself out here, so it might be a uh, real crazy when there's a bunch of us out here. It's a uh, it's a little tight if you go in the corner a little too fast. Well, it is definitely going to be an exciting one. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, Doug. Have a good broadcast. Finally got to talk to Kirk Marble. Oh, Richie's really getting crazy with predictions. 
Top three will be Edwards, Pudge, and Kirk Marble. This could be an interesting night. Hello, Bob Ross is looking mighty fast out there. It's got to be the hair. I don't think Jeremy was so happy about Richie picking him. <laughs> Jason Coleman saying, add Clay Kirchenbauer to that top three. Definitely a very good pick. Remember, they will not need tires or fuel unless a caution situation puts them on pit road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Jeremy Edwards and Patrick Pieper at the front row. Kirk Marble and Pudge at the second row. Nicholas Johnson and Jacob Morgan on the third row. Clay Kirchhammer, Connor Kurtzill on the fourth row. Aaron Brill and Eric round out your top ten. Richard Craggan and Kenny Storkson, 11th and 12th. Corey uh, Baldenot and Steven Johnson, 13th and 14th. Tyler Ott starting at 15th. Chad Johnson in 16th. Jade Bruliet, 17th. Russell Worth in 18th. Tritton Terrors, Brian Hewitt and Ryan McDaniel round out the 21 car field. And Nicholas Johnson pulled over. Looks like he will be going to the tail end of the field. Jeremy Edwards, Patrick Pieper on the front row will be tough to pass. But unlike when we bring the big stock cars, the cup cars, Xfinity and trucks here, these cars with their lower power carry more speed, but they can move, they carry enough speed, but you see a lot more passing here. Things can get very exciting very, very, very quickly. Pace car is in. Green flag is in the air there, down and away at Gateway. Headed down into turn one, still, oh! Marble, there's a problem! Caution is out, I believe Pudge was blinking. I believe I saw Pudge blinking and it caused some significant issues. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened looking back around Tyler Ott at the moment Pudge is right behind Peeper keep an eye on that blue number seven he disappears and does end up in the wall
He will disappear a little bit here. And there you see Pudge hard in the wall in front of the entire field. Several cars go through and Pudge heavy, heavy damage. Looking through the field, it does look like Kirk Marble may have picked up some damage in that. Pudge has gone to pit road looking at the cars that were in the outside line, fortunately due to the blinking. I think most of them avoided any significant damage. Oh, no damage to terrors to the cars around him. They stack back up, getting ready for the restart. Pudge has been to pit road, got the car fixed. He is back on track. Russell Worth did not grit. And it looks like we are getting the one to green. Hopefully Pudge's issues uh, clear up. He was fast in practice, fast in qualifying. If the issues clear up, hopefully he can make his way to the front. Down the back straightaway, still 20 cars on the lead lap. See how it ends. You just never know with this much racing left to go. Pace car is in. Here they go again. Jeremy Edwards in control. Into the restart zone and they fire green back in the air. Everybody coming up to speed. One car looking low. Looked like he might have been slow on the restart, but gained a ton of ground. I believe that was Corey. Yep, that was Corey B. That a little slow on the restart, but man, when he got to one, he was fast. Beeper pulls ahead on the back straightaway, but Jeremy pulls back in line. There are three wide mid-pack. Eric on the high side. Richard Craggan underneath. Peeper has a nose ahead. Kirk Marble set the fastest lap so far. Jason, I never heard that one, but I will definitely remember it. Jeremy Edwards still has the lead by a nose at the line. Clay Kirchenbauer right behind him. Richard Craggan in the six might be the car to watch. He is already up two spots right in front of him, or as he battles now with Corey Boundanai. Corey up four spots in the ninth. Brian Hewitt went off track back behind. Likely coming out of turn two. Jacob Morgan in the fight up front trying to find a way to the front. Turn two, caution.
Russian is out. Aaron Brill, Tyler, on Eric, all involved. Several cars off track trying to avoid it. Let's see what happened. There's a 70 of Brill. Oh, looks like he just gets a little tap from Kragen. Goes up, collects on Eric and a few others. There's Tyler Ott back behind in the eight. Corey Baldenot goes off track, but Ott goes for a spin. Likely to see some cars on pit road. Aaron Brill had to tow it to pit road. Eric did as well. A little chaos here in the early going. Turn two is brutal at times. You see a lot of cars get loose out of two. We mentioned Brian Hewitt went off track a few moments ago. We'll take a quick look. There's Hewitt back behind a little bit of a push through one and two. And then just loose out of two to the inside wall. And a few moments later, Corey Bowdenot battling. He went off track to avoid that. Ryan McDaniel also going off track to avoid the incident. Keeps it off the wall and out of trouble. Everybody stacked back up, ready to go. Tyler Ott did go in for repairs. Brian Hewitt also went to pit road. And of course, as we mentioned, Aaron Brill and Eric both all had to tow it in. Jeremy Edwards still out front, in control, Peeper on the high side. Down through three and four, everybody ready to go once again. Eric is repaired and back out on track. Aaron Brill coming back out as well. Into the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Whoa! Nicholas Johnson looked like he made a power move on the start. Shoots underneath there. Three wide. Boy, bounding on a little slow down low. That got a little spicy coming through one and two. Everybody settles back in. Jeremy Edwards, Patrick Pieper still side by side. Clay Kirchemeyer, Kirk Marble behind. Kirchemeyer may shoot the gap. The door gets closed before he can get the nose in. Oh, 
Peeper goes one out of two. And look at this. Kirk Marble goes to the bottom three wide. Three wide for the lead. Out of turn four, down the front straightaway. It's a drag race to turn one. Kirk has a preferred line into one and two. Jeremy Edwards just sends it deeper. And Edwards clears into the lead. Kirk still trying to get back underneath Patrick Beeper. Meanwhile, Connor Kurtzill on the move up into fifth. Jacob Morgan right behind in sixth. Steven Johnson now up seven spots into seventh. And Pudge is on the comeback trail now up to 13th. Whoa, we got one loose. Out of two, it's Connor Kurdzil. No call. Now the caution is out. Caution is out for the third time. It has definitely been a wild start to the race here at Gateway. Kurtzill there in the blue and yellow. Jacob Morgan there battling. Just a little love tap from Morgan and he goes around. Loses the front bumper but does get the car going. He'll go to pit road, get it repaired, and fight back. And Jeremy Edwards... This is unexpected. Jeremy Edwards is on pit road. That'll give the lead to Kirk Marble. Aaron Brill gets a wave around. Connor Kurdzill is in. We expected that. Corey, Corey Bowdenot also in. Some unexpected surprises. Jeremy Edwards is taking tires. I don't think they've had nearly enough fall off for four fresh tires to make a big difference here. But I guess we are about to find out. Hudge has fought his way back up into 10th. Big movers right now. Steven Johnson up 10 spots into fourth. Jade Broliette up nine spots into eighth. Chad Johnson up five spots into 11th. Ryan McDaniel up eight spots into 13th. And Trenton Terrors up five spots into 14th. So Kirk Marble, after that big fight, will have the lead with Peeper, Kirchenbauer, Steven Johnson, and Jacob Morgan, the top five. Nicholas Johnson, Richard Craig, and Jade Rouliette, Kenny Storkson, and Pudge round out the top ten.
Light should be going out this time. Everybody stacks back up, side by side. A lot of passing going on back in the field, but as we've seen, it takes a gutsy move to make up any ground up at the front. Jeremy Edwards comes off pit road in 17th, in the 17, four fresh tires, will it make a difference here? Pace car about to drop back in. Here we go. Kirk Marble in control there in the zone. Green flag back in the air. Peeper gets the better launch. Peeper practically getting pushed into turn one by Steven Johnson. Kirk Marble though may have it. He clears. Clay Kirchenmeyer looks underneath. Does not get the run yet. Patrick Peeper to second. Clay in third. Steven Johnson on the high side. Nicholas Johnson right behind. Si Ooh! A little contact between Nicholas and Morgan. Ryan McDaniel is that a problem? Back behind, there is no caution. There's Ryan on the bottom trying to make his way forward. Loose out of four, I think they may have had some help. There's Ryan down on the bottom, and yes, there is a little bump from behind, and Ryan, it's an inside wall hard. Nicholas Johnson just set the fastest lap of the race, looking underneath Kirchenbauer. Nicholas Johnson now to third. Ryan McDaniel is on pit road. Peeper now looking underneath Kirk Marble, trying to reclaim the lead here. Peeper pushes up into the lead, almost makes contact with Kirk. And now Nicholas Johnson looks underneath for second place. Pudge now up to ninth. And Jeremy Edwards on those fresh tires up to 11th. I don't know that Jeremy Edwards, based on lap times, is any faster than the rest of the field, but it may give him the edge on maneuvering. Last time by, Jeremy Edwards did a 38.21. The leader did a 38.20. Nicholas Johnson goes to the lead. Oh, Peeper gets the wall. Peeper kisses the wall, but at the line, Nicholas Johnson leads for the first time in Nowski competition, or sorry, in C12 Motorsports.
Peeper on the high side carries the momentum. Out of two. Kirchemeyer in fifth. Jacob in sixth. Richard Cragen on the march. Jeremy Edwards now in tenth. Hodge is having problems again. Nicholas Johnson has the lead coming through one and two. Steven Johnson now looks underneath Peeper for second. And a big push for Steven Johnson from Kirk Marble. Lap traffic may become an issue for the leaders. Clay Kirchenbauer, Jacob Morgan still in that lead group. Jay Brilliant closing in as is Richard Cragen. Jeremy Edwards now up in the ninth. Hutch having significant issues with his connection. Trenton Terrorhurst has come to Pitt Road. Steven Johnson battling for second place. Jeremy Edwards continues his march toward the front. He is now in eighth, trying to take solely count. Heeper got a little loose out of two. Everybody avoids it. Oh, Heeper got into Morgan. They both get loose. Jade shoots up the middle. Heeper gathers it up. Peeper now back in fifth. Jade, a gutsy move up the middle to take sixth. Nicholas Johnson out front. Steven Johnson, Kirk Marble, and Clay Kirchenbauer on a breakaway. Patrick Peeper leading this second group with Jade Broliat, Jacob Morgan, Richard Cragen. Jeremy Edwards. Kenny Storkson is there. Tyler on. Tyler Ott had a close call with Chad Johnson a moment ago. Whoa! Richard Cragen was way almost sideways out of turn two. And a battle for second is on. Kirk Marble now looking underneath Steven Johnson. The lap car of Ryan McDaniel letting the leaders get by. Clay Kirchenbauer still back and forth. Peeper and crew cannot seem to gain any ground. Jeremy Edwards looks underneath Jacob Morgan. The fresher tires have allowed him to come through the field, but will he have enough left to get to the leader? Kirk Marble now looks underneath the leader, gets a little loose through one and two. A little bit of door banging as well with Steven Johnson for Kirk Marble. Now Steven Johnson's looking low. Patrick Peeper still trying to close in. Tyler Ott back behind battling with Storkson. Good evening.
Roman Swarovski. Swarovski cheering on Kirk Marble, who sits in third at the moment. Trenton Terrors had a little bit of an off track a moment ago. Likely another situation of loose out of two. One car that is not having handling problems. Jeremy Edwards now up into sixth. Jay trying to fight back up top. Kirk Marble now up on the high side. Big push from Clay. And Nicholas Johnson is absolutely loving the view in the mirror. They're battling side by side. They're not going to battle him. Clay goes to the bottom. Three wide. Kirk able to take advantage. Shoots out into second. Clay now battling for third. He'll take it. Oh, Jacob Morgan is around. Caution is out. Caution out with 11 laps to go. This is going to make things really, really interesting. Jacob Morgan battling with Chris Johnson. He pushes up just a little bit. Tries to not hit Chris, but... Gets loose himself, comes down the track. Ryan McDaniel does get one of his laps back. Eric gets his back. Aaron Brill getting his back as well. Trenton Terrors also getting laps back. Jade Broliet, Richard Craig, and Tyler Ott, Pudge, Corey Bowdenot, and Connor Kurdzil all coming in. The four tire strategy may have paid off earlier in the race. I don't know if they'll have enough laps back to make it work. <laughs> Swafford, it is something like that, buddy. We are likely going to have roughly five laps to go when the green flag drops. Colby, I do believe it's admin cautions, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm like 85% sure. Jason, it is still a possibility. Also, good evening, Colby. Too bad you're not out here showing them how to Whipple and Nene. So a lot of cars on pit road. Everybody from about ninth place on back. Jeremy Edwards got four fresh tires on lap six, uh, lap 16. 
He now sits in sixth place. That top five may be in trouble with those fresh tires of Jeremy, but uh, from ninth place on back, I don't know if they'll have enough laps to get it done. Oh, I can understand that one, Colby. Lights are out on the pace car. They will stack back up. Will this be the final caution? Josh McKnight just here to see Clay pull off the win. Clay currently sitting in third. Everybody stack back up, ready to go. As the sun comes back up, I have to say the eight time eight times the regular time has made a dramatic difference and adds a little level to, of excitement. Here we go, pace car is in. Green flag back in the air. It'll be six to go at the line. Everybody stays side by side into turn one for the moment. Nicholas Johnson trying to clear. Kirk is not letting him get it easy. Oh, we've got a spin behind. Kenny Storks and Ryan McDaniel. Caution is back out. And we may see a green-white checker out of this. Kenny Storks and in the 54 up top gets loose, gets the wall. Gets Ryan and Ryan. Ryan sticks the landing. Gotta give it to Ryan. He has been fighting back all night long. This is a bit of a heartbreak. Big tumbles. But he does stick the landing. And it looks like he may have had to tow it in. The engine probably let go. Justin, that did kind of hurt. And Colby... <laughs> Colby said uh, Ryan's out here looking like Doc Hudson. Sun coming back out, but the track temperature still holding fairly low. Pudge has towed it to pit road. Nicholas Johnson, Kirk Marble, Steven Johnson, Clay Kirchenbauer, Jeremy Edwards, the top five, Patrick Pieper, Chad Johnson, Brian Hewitt, Richard Cragen, and Corey Bowdenot, the top ten. And it does look like they will have two to go when the green flag drops. 
Now they do have the possibility of a green white checkered finish or an additional green white checkered if the caution comes out on the final two laps. And the lights are not out on the pace car. So we will go to a green-white checkered from the looks of it. Things are about to get really, really wild here. stacked up ready to go lights are out on the pace car it'll be two to go when the green flag drops Josh with those fresher tires on that 17 car I'm not counting him out yet fresher tires I should say From ninth place on back, everybody got tires on the last caution. But will they have enough time to move forward? Hey, thanks, Walford. Pace car is in. Nicholas Johnson in control. Kirk Marble on the high side. Here they come. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go at Gateway. And already we've got to move to the bottom. Steven Johnson, oh, there's contact. And caution is out. We'll get another green-white checkered. They are still trying to wreck out a two. And it looks like there might be a little disagreement between Jeremy Edwards and Steven Johnson. Jacob Morgan and Tyler Ott got caught up in that to bring the caution out. Let's see what happened. Tyler Ott up on the high side. Oh, it was three wide up there. There's Jeremy Edwards. We'll take another look at him here in a moment. But just during that checkup, Jacob Morgan checks up. Car behind gets him and nowhere to go. Let's take a look at Jeremy Edwards. Oh, Steven Johnson goes down. Jeremy tried to get the nose in and everybody stacks up and Richard Kragen got a little bit of it and yeah I, I'd say Johnson was not happy and it does look like Steven Johnson will restart Right behind Jeremy Edwards. Oh boy. Hey, 
say thank you so much for the star, Swafford. Looks like the guys up front keeping the tires clean. Ben, you're not wrong. This has been a very interesting night. Make sure you're following us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube. I have a feeling that all afternoon tomorrow I'll be making shorts, for, uh, YouTube shorts, from this race. It's going to take, as we have seen all night, a really, really gutsy move to make the pass for the lead with Johnson and Marble battling it out side by side up front. As we saw, Steven Johnson and Jeremy Edwards both tried to dive as low as possible into one. Clay Kirchenbauer, Patrick Pieper, right behind. They are going to have to make... They are going to have to do something crazy to make it happen. Clay getting the tires cleaned off, warmed up. We've seen a lot of drivers doing that during this caution. Nicholas Johnson has the advantage. And thanks for the star, Swafford. And I've got my popcorn ready. All right, pace car is in. Hold your breath for the next two laps. Here we go. Green flag is back in the air. Two to go at Gateway. And there we go, the gutsy moves. Edwards shoots low under Clay. Three wide through one and two. Oh no! Steven Johnson at caution is back. Jeremy Edwards is in it. Nicholas Johnson got the wall. Steven Johnson has the lead. Peepers in the wall. Corey Boundnot just pulled up to third. And I do believe we are getting the white flag. White flag is in the air one more time around. We'll take a look at that incident here in just a moment. Hey, good evening, Cody Kennedy. And Steven Johnson, after a little tussle with Jeremy Edwards, lays back just a hair, watches everything pop off. Looks like he caught a little damage in that interaction. But out at turn four, Steven Johnson will get his first ever C12 Motorsports win here at Gateway. Patrick Pieper comes home second. Corey comes home third. And let's take 
A little glance at what happened. There's Nicholas Johnson up at the front. Jeremy Edwards on the move. Oh, Johnson thought he was clear, came up the track across Kirk Marble. Holy cow, Clay had one heck of a ride. Looking at Clay Kirchenbauer's car right behind. And there it is. I, Clay almost cleared it. Jeremy Edwards down on the bottom. And oh! Take one more look from the blimp. There you see it pop off. Jeremy Edwards almost had the win there. And then some more banging down the back straightaway. What a finish. All right, let's talk to our top three and our winner already here, Steven Johnson, your first C12 Motorsports win. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, dude. I could have, you know, I just raced from the, field, from the back of the field, try to get to the front as clean as I could. Had a little run-in with uh, a 17 car with like four to go and just was trying to survive. Well, you just uh, <laughs> barely survived it. Obviously, that last lap, uh, or that last restart, rather, things got a little hairy. Your car's a bit banged up, but you survived. Yeah, just trying to trying to uh, give the 17 what he gave me and ended up paying off for me and not for him, so... How, that's how it goes sometimes. It definitely does, man. Congratulations. A great win. Your first C12 Motorsports win. Great job. Thank you. Steven comes in first. Patrick Peeper in second. Patrick, a, uh, a wild, a wild finish there, but you come home with a podium. Patrick, you got me? I got you, Doug. How you doing? <laughs> Good. A wild finish, but you come home with a podium. Yeah, no, that was definitely a wild finish. Um, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't see exactly what happened there. I just knew that it was, uh, we were, you know, it was the last attempt at a green-white checkered. And so I stayed on the gas, and I had a meatball. But, uh, yeah, you know, I came out of that one second. I was a little bit surprised and kind of defends my points lead. I'm just like I said, I, I keep telling you, I'm... I don't know why I can't podium in the road course race because that's that's my forte. But here I am every week getting a podium in the oval stuff. But it's it's a lot of fun uh, having a lot of good racing though in this series and enjoying it. It definitely is. And putting on one heck of a show, man. Congratulations, buddy. All right. Thanks again, Doug. And our third place finisher. Corey, two podiums, one night, man. It's been a it's been a good start for you. Yeah, I don't know how, but like I hate this track so much, I did not know how to drive it, and they just all murdered each other coming <laughs> off turn two, and I got lucky after in the aftermath of the caution and it put me up in third position. So I'll take it, I guess, here for an oval race. I think it's the first podium for an oval race for me, so. We're going to try to pick it up in the points here, and in the points tonight, and the road is pretty good all season so far, so we're going to go for it. Well, man, I have to say, it was an awesome finish, and I believe I looked, and you were like 8th or ninth on the restart, but everything just kind of fell your way. The uh, chaos, you managed to come through it and podium again. <laughs> Absolutely, I love it, man. Of course, I got to give a shout out to my sponsors out there, you know, for the night. Random Designs Paint Services, uh, uh, SRC Miller Racing, Fusion Setup Shop, 
and you out here doing your thing on your Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or whatever you do it on. Well, man, great job tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Corey comes home with two podiums. He was definitely happy with that. That was a wild one. Yes, we will have a bunch of YouTube shorts coming out. I will start working on some of them tonight. We'll have most of them out over the next few days, so make sure you're following on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Even I am worn out after that. Have a great night, everybody.